What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 35th Jailbreak Update video. And we have some exciting news to talk about today. So in this video, we're gonna be talking all about the iOS 11 Beta 2 and the iOS 10.3.2 Jailbreak that were just demoed at MoSec 2017. So if you've been watching my Jailbreak Update videos over the past few months, you'll know that I actually predicted that an iOS 11 Beta Jailbreak would be demonstrated at MoSec 2017. And here we are. Now with all of this being demonstrated at the Janus conference, this really makes you wonder what Pangu has in store for MoSec 2017 in a couple months. And I'm thinking it's gonna be an iOS 11 beta jailbreak, which would be amazing. And the big reason I predicted this to happen this year is because last year at MoSec 2016, Pangu demonstrated an iOS 10 beta jailbreak. So yeah, as you can see, I thought it was gonna be Pangu that was gonna demonstrate the jailbreak, but it actually was not Pangu that demonstrated the jailbreak. We did get an iOS 11 beta 2 jailbreak demonstration, but it actually came from the Keen Lab. That's right, it came from Mr. Lang Chen from the Keen Lab, and you can see here that he showed off an iOS 11 Beta 2 jailbreak running on an iPhone 7, and also an iOS 10.3.2 jailbreak running on both an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 7. So before we talk about what you should do to prepare for this jailbreak, and if it's actually even going to be released, let's make sure we're clear on who the Keen Lab is. So they are officially called the Keen Security Lab of Tencent, but they were previously known as the Keen Team, and they've been around for a while. So at the mobile Pwn to Own event, in 2013, they won close to $30,000. And then in 2014, the following year, they won over $100,000 at this Pwn to Own event for finding exploits in Safari on iOS. And then back when iOS 9.1 was the latest firmware, there were hints that the Keen Lab was gonna be releasing their first ever jailbreak, although that never really happened after Pengu dropped their jailbreak for 9.1. And this was all said in a Forbes interview. So yeah, they actually had an interview with Forbes back then. Now here's something awesome about the Keen Lab and Mr. Chen. So Mr. Chen said that it's not the monetary aspect of finding bugs and exploits that drives him, but it's the technical challenge of it. And that's what I think makes iOS such a great target for security security researchers because it's so much harder. It's such a bigger challenge to find exploits in iOS compared to Android or any other mobile operating system. So going back to last year in 2016, the Keen Lab also showed an iOS 10.1 remote jailbreak using two new exploits and they got a $215,000 reward for it at Pwn to Own 2016. Now the Keen Lab isn't only an iOS based security research team. They don't only focus on iOS. They also focus on Android, Tesla, they even hacked the Tesla and just many other operating systems. So yeah, there's a brief synopsis of the Keen Lab and a little bit of their history. So they are a pretty well-known and well-respected team here in the jailbreak community. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because I did talk about the Keen Lab previously on the channel. I mainly talked about them when I was talking about Marco Grassi and the uh, Yalu jailbreak, the mock portal jailbreak and things like that. So if it sounds familiar, that's where you've heard the name from. Now let's get to the question that I know you're all asking and wanting to hear me talk about. So is this jailbreak or jailbreaks, maybe it's two jailbreaks, are they going to be released at all? And the honest answer is, I don't know. It very easily could, and it also very easily could not. So with that much uncertainty, I would say to definitely stay on iOS 10.3.1 if you are there right now. If you're not there right now, luckily Apple is still for some reason signing iOS 10.3.1, so I would immediately downgrade from 10.3.2 or 10.3.3 down to iOS 10.3.1. But if anything changes, I will be making an urgent video update on the channel. So make sure you have my notifications turned on. Make sure you click that little bell icon there next to the subscribe button so you can see when I make an urgent video like that. And another reason to stay on 10.3.1 is because if the 10.3.2 jailbreak does get released, there's a very good chance it's going to work on 10.3.1 as well. And then of course we know that a kernel exploit for 10.3.1 is going to be publicly released here in a few months by Zimperium. And I talked about that in previous episodes so you can go back and watch that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Now like I said, I don't know if this is two separate jailbreaks, one jailbreak for iOS 11 beta 2 and one jailbreak for iOS 10.3.2 wasn't really clear at the event, but if I had to guess which one would get released or at least get released first, I would say it would be the 10.3.2 jailbreak. But the release of this 10.3.2 jailbreak, I believe is contingent on Apple patching the exploit. So if they patch it in iOS 11, there's a much better chance they're going to release it to the public. But if they don't patch it, there's a much better chance that they're not going to release it until it does get patched. And as far as the iOS 11 beta 2 jailbreak goes, I think that the Keen Lab and, and Mr. Chen there showed that off just to show that they were first to do it. We saw that happen with Pengu last year with the iOS 10 beta jailbreak and I just really wouldn't be surprised to see this iOS 11 jailbreak get patched 
in a later beta of iOS 11 or even the final version of iOS 11. So I think the iOS 11 jailbreak was more for show and just proving that it can be done. I don't think that's going to be publicly released ever, but of course we just don't know at this point. I just think that the 10.3.2 jailbreak has a better chance of getting released. And again, it's going to probably work for 10.3.1 and 10.3.2 and possibly even 10.3.3. We just don't know. It's still so early on. But even if nothing gets released, it's still so awesome to see these security researchers and these security research teams still hunting iOS and still hunting bugs and exploits in iOS to demonstrate jailbreaks and showing Cydia running on it and everything. So yeah, I didn't want to make a super long video for this. I just wanted to let you guys know that a jailbreak was demonstrated for iOS 11 beta 2 and iOS 10.3.2. So yeah, I hope you guys are as excited as I am about seeing that these firmwares can actually be jailbroken. Again, I would not get too hyped and get my hopes too high up if you only care about public releases and public jailbreaks. But if you care about the jailbreak community as a whole and just seeing researchers, you know, progress with iOS exploits and jailbreaking and things like that, this is just super awesome to see. And I really urge you guys to not just care about public releases and not just spam everybody on Twitter for public releases, just respect and just, you know, see the hard work that goes into these jailbreaks and just respect these security researchers for even trying, you know, and showing that it's possible. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and if you are hyped for an iOS 11 or a 10.3.x jailbreak, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more updates coming about these jailbreaks. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.